Hi guys, it's Julie. Welcome or welcome back to my wonderful BC life. I'm back today with another Dollarama haul to share with everybody. I've been having one heck of a time getting this film today. I keep screwing up left, right and center. And then the one time I got so close to the end, I had three more items to show. And then my phone had a message coming up saying that I had reached my maximum recording time. And I'm like, no, how dare you? <laughs> so anyway, I had to start all over again. Well, I hope I get through it this time. I got to get through it this time. So let's start all over. Uh, the first item is the Maurice Closet Solutions Tubular Plastic Hangers, package of seven for $2.50. And these are the ones that I like to buy that have this little groove in here because your tops can hang on to that and then they won't slide off of your hangers. The other ones that are just smooth along here, my tops just fall right off of them, so it drives me crazy. And I needed more hangers because uh, we use a bunch of hangers on my drying rack and we must have both bought some tops so it used up a lot of my hangers that I have in there and we needed more so I thought well I better grab some more while I'm thinking about it. The next item is the International Delight French Vanilla Coffee Whitener 24 singles for $3.50. I got one box of those. I like adding those to my cappuccino in the morning. It just gives it that little extra shot of flavor that I like. So the next item Dave picked out, and it's the Quaker Harvest Crunch Protein Oak Chocolate and Almond Granola Cereal 325 gram box and it has 20 grams of protein per 100 gram serving so that's a lot of protein he decided to give that a shot and it was three dollars and fifty cents so we'll see how that goes over the next items are the wonder bread hot dog buns for two dollars a package of eight We'll be having hot dogs tonight, so I had to hurry up and haul those, <laughs> or they would be eaten. Well, not all of them, but some of them would be eaten. <laughs> so the next item is a repurchase. It's the Seal Store Slide Seal Large Freezer Bags Package of 8, and these are the ones with the write-on labels for $1.25. I got one box of those. And this is sort of a repurchase because I change my flavors up all the time. It's the Lay's Wavy Chips this time, 150 grams for $2.50. I got one bag of those. And then Dave picked this item out when he was with me the one day. It's the Heinz Sweet Relish, 375 milliliter for $2.75. And this is the nice one with the flat bottom so you can put it like that and then your relish will go down to the bottom so you don't have to squeeze so hard. <laughs> I'm sure everybody appreciates that. <laughs> Dave needs that for his mustard. Every time he goes to get mustard he he goes like this and he shakes it and then he has this mustard splat in the sink because he doesn't want the crusty stuff on the top I guess is the idea. And then he just leaves the mustard in the sink and then I'll come over afterwards and go, ugh, not again. Because <laughs> it, it's always like stuck to the bottom of the sink at this point. And I don't appreciate that. Anyway, the next item is also for Dave. Uh, we have a little propane barbecue out on the back deck and we use just those small little canisters, the ones that are coming, I think it's a four pack at uh, Costco. And they uh, ran out, his last one ran out just last week, so he had to get some new ones. And I thought, well, I wonder how much uh, stuff he's got in his lighter. So I thought maybe I better pick one up just in case he needs one. So I got the Delight Briquette Flexible Lighter. Or, I don't know, is Briquette, is that uh, French for lighter? I don't know. Or is it just supposed to be on there? I don't know. 
But anyway, I got one of those for $3. And I like that it has this uh, flexible arm on here that, uh, you know, if by some chance it's hard to get in there, it'll be easier with this. So I got that one for $3. They did have cheaper ones there, but I chose to go with that one because I like that it had the flexible part on it. And then the next item, I've mentioned before that I'm on a mission to get my teeth whiter. And I've been using for quite a while, since probably around Christmas time, I've been using the ARC 2-in-1 Whitening Anti-Cavity Toothpaste in the 75 milliliter tube. Now, Dollarama had that for $5, and I definitely was noticing a difference using that. I've been quite pleased with it. And I decided also to try the Crest 3D White Whitening Therapy Charcoal with Tea Tree Oil in the Refreshing Mint in a 90 milliliter tube. Now this one's $4 as opposed to the ARC was always 5 And between the two of them, I do think I've noticed a difference in the color of my teeth. I find they're looking more like an ivory color now, which is might be their natural color actually. They're certainly not looking yellow anymore. So I'm quite happy with that. So I do recommend these toothpastes. I will say though, it is funny using the charcoal toothpaste because you put it on your uh, toothbrush and it's black and you're going, oh, black toothpaste. <laughs> I've never used black toothpaste before. But nonetheless, that's why it, it's black because it's got the charcoal in it and it does do a good job. So anyway, how do you recommend that? And the next item is a repurchase. It's the Clark Beans with Tomato Sauce, 398 milliliter can, $4.50. And I got two cans of that. And this item, I meant to haul it last time and I accidentally left it in the pile, sort of got buried underneath a bunch of the stuff that I was hauling. It's the Tech One Multi-Purpose Ties, package of six, for $1.25, I got one of those. And this item, I sometimes buy it at Dollarama, or not Dollarama, but Dollar Tree. Some, also sometimes at Dollarama, but I've noticed that uh, Dollar Tree has gone up to $1.75, whereas Dollarama is still $1.50. So it's the Ben's Original Fast and Fancy Country Chicken Flavor. They have a lot of other different flavors as well. But like I say, it is 25 cents cheaper at Dollarama. So I really think that uh, Dollar Tree needs to pay more attention to what their competitors are charging. Because somebody like me, I'm going to notice the difference. And if I notice it's cheaper at the, the other store, I will pick it up when I'm at the other store. You know, it's different. A lot of times they don't sell the exact same things, but in this case they do. And I'm going to go wherever it's cheapest. Now, the next item, I have not bought this before, and I don't think they've always carried it at Dollarama. Dave and I have always liked the Underwood brand deviled ham, and it's hard to find. I haven't seen it. I'm not sure even which stores carry it at this point. Maybe Walmart might. I'm not sure. But we have not tried before the Paris Pate Deviled Ham. And that looks like this. So we're going to try that. It was $1.75. And we'll see if it tastes like the Underwood or not. Hopefully it does. Or at least reasonably close. So, the next item is something I've seen people posting on Facebook. And I decided to give it a try. It's the Emergency Immune Plus 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C and 1,000 IU of vitamin D. It is a raspberry flavored fizzy drink mix. It says may help reduce duration and severity of colds. May help prevent colds in those undergoing physical stress. And this is what that looks like. I decided to give it a try. It was $5. And I had to laugh about the physical stress. Well, not so much. Well, stress is physical. Let's be honest, it is. 
but with me with this whole house hunting thing, I'm driving myself insane trying to find some place that we can agree on. And there's this one place that I really liked and it backs onto a golf course so it has a lovely view and it's it's actually got a lot of square footage. A lot of things are good about it, but the one things that aren't good about it are the mostly the cosmetic things. The flooring needs to be changed throughout it. Obviously, it's going to have to be painted throughout, which that's no big deal. But it needs to have the cabinets refaced in the kitchen and new countertops put down. And it needs to have the uh, bathrooms updated. But anyway, it's just so hard getting Dave to agree on anything. And I'm afraid that the prices are going to go up again if he delays too much. So... I don't know, you know, what we're going to do about this, but I am feeling a lot of stress. I'm on MLS countless times through the day. I'm not exaggerating, countless times. Always hoping the perfect thing will pop up that he will agree to, but so far that hasn't happened. The one place he liked backs onto a park. It's only got a single car garage. So only one of our cars could go in the garage at night and the other one would be outside. Now the park, don't get me wrong, I featured it on my Facebook page, or not my Facebook page, my YouTube page. And it is a beautiful park, absolutely gorgeous. But the riffraff, I'll call them, the homeless people, very much frequent that area. Some of them live in that park. And as beautiful as it is, I don't think of it as a safe neighborhood for me to live in. And I certainly wouldn't want to have to worry about my car being broken into every night. So that to me, even though it was beautiful inside, don't get me wrong, it was beautiful inside. And the price was reasonably, you know, fairly reasonable considering what the prices are these days. But it's just, I wouldn't have the peace of mind living there that I think I need to have. I wouldn't want to be worrying about people breaking into our car or, you know, stealing things off of our patio, that sort of thing. So anyway, it wasn't the perfect fit. So enough about me and my stress. <laughs> I've got one more item. I, I can't possibly totally screw up at this point. I don't think, maybe. <laughs> the last item is something that I have been searching for for weeks now. I had seen them on Facebook, different people had posted them, and I thought, oh, that is a fantastic price for those. I have bought them in the past and I know how expensive they can be. And every time I would go in there, I would look and look and look, and I wouldn't see them. Well, today I went into two different stores, and it was in the second store. I'm walking along and it was actually in the hardware aisle, which I wasn't sure if I was to find them, whether they would be in the hardware aisle or the, what, do, what would you call the aisle? The one that has like pictures and stuff like that, you know, homey items, you know, little lamps and stuff. Sometimes I wondered if it would be that aisle if they were to have them. So I've always checked both aisles every time I'm in a store. But today, I'm not even thinking about that in particular. I was kind of thinking about something else. And then, all of a sudden, my eyes just went right straight to it. I'm like, oh my God, there they are. <laughs> I wasn't even looking for them today because I'd pretty much given up at this point. But there they were. And they had three different types of packages. Now, this is what I'm talking about. It's the Duramax Home. And these are the cabinet knobs very very pretty I just could not say no to those six drawer knobs as it says or you can use them for a drawer or a cabinet whatever thing type of thing you need to put a knob on and they had three different types of packages they had these ones here which are a smaller size and then they had a package of four that were very similar in size to this. They might have been the same size or maybe just a smidgen bigger, but they were a package of four. 
And then they had a package of, was it four or two? No, I've forgotten. Anyway, they had the ones that were the big chunky ones, the big chunky round ones. And they had those ones there too. And they were $5 a package. And like I said, I was thrilled to see those. I thought, oh my God, I never thought I was gonna find them. And there they were. It was like they were glowing at me from the display. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I honestly never thought I'd find them. So I was so happy to find those. I bought two packages because I'm sure I'm going to be looking for spots that I can add them just as I've done in the past with different pieces of furniture that I have. I upgrade the, uh, the uh, knobs on them. So anyway, I think I've gotten through my video. If I can get through the outro without screwing that up, I'll be doing good. So anyway, that was my video for today. I hope everybody enjoyed it, that you saw something that you thought was nice or interesting. And if you did like my video, please be certain to hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do, as I would love to welcome you to my uh, YouTube family. And be sure to hit the notification bell and set it to all so you don't miss any of my uploads. I hope you're all doing well, that you're all healthy and happy. And until next time, bye-bye. Bonus here, eh, Jerk? Yeah. You guys see the seal through the disposal. Just